Good morning, everyone. Strife Cal. We are playing some more Cthulhu Saves the World. Awesome little uh, JRPG by Zboid Games. <clears throat> this isn't the ocean, folks. Trust me. I lived there for countless aeons. <clears throat> okay, so we've made it through to this town. I'm not sure where we were supposed to go from Providence. Apparently just Providence, so let's uh, wander around a little bit, see what we can find. I love to read. What's your favorite book? Hugsa... Huh? You should really read it sometime. Okay. Ah, it's a giant walking sword! Get it away from me! We have the ruler of insanity and she picks the sword to be afraid of? Don't worry, I still think you're terrifying. I don't need your pity fear. Poor Cthulhu. I threw a ball in the well and I still haven't heard a sound. It must be crazy deep. Now I wish I had my ball back. Why did I throw away my sole source of entertainment into the stupid well? Is this, uh... Nope, nope, can't climb down. It was worth It's always worth a try in RPGs, right? Climb down the well. If you go around the lake, you can find a ranch with crazy old kook who thinks aliens are abducting cows in a plot to take over the world. Isn't that the craziest thing? We should check it out. If there really is an alien invasion, you could become a true hero by foiling it. The other day I saw some strange lights on the ranch on the east side of the lake. Oh, okay. Maybe this is really it. Strict no shirt, no shoes, no service rule. No shirt can contain the awesomeness that is Cthulhu. The Itsuzumaki stew here is incredible. Never thought I'd be a fan of giant meat and snails, but the taste so, is so good. Cosplay supplies. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess there's a, gen a general push towards the eastern side of the lake. Ilana Lina grew up here. She was such a cute little girl. Now here she's running around in a band of heroes looking for some magic crystals to save the world. Maybe we should go on a quest to gather crystals. It's what all the cool heroes are doing. Been there, done that. Crystals are overrated. Pass. Those blasted aliens keep stealing my cows. Luckily, I have a good supplier who keeps replacing them for me, but it's getting annoying. Aliens? Ridiculous. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm an alien myself. We should investigate. And I'm not sure, but this feels like there could be a boss fight immediately. Tractor Beam appears and pulls a cow into the air. Appears and pulls you into the air. Ah, I'm too young to die. This is kind of fun. Inside the alien ship, a green cat-like creature approaches. I have been waiting for you, Cthulhu. Pause. Long time no see. How's life on your home planet of Ulthar? Violent as ever. Good to hear it. So what are you doing in this neck of the galaxy? My people have sent this ship on a mission to take over this world by abducting cows and injecting them with DNA mutagens who have created an army of immense proportions. Before long, we'll have enough firepower to take this entire planet with ease. We can't let you do that. Tell him, Cthulhu, that you're a good guy now. I'm afraid it's true. I know, I've been monitoring you. That's why I've brought you here. I've grown tired of the Eltharians' constant warmongering. Lend me your aid in foiling their plans. I never thought, I thought you'd never ask. Why, it'll be just like our old college days, fighting along against the establishment, not taking guff from no one. Indeed. Oh. Pause the cat is an Ultharian, not a cat. He has special powers that will come in handy. Not a cat. Stop it, guys. Pause is not a cat. He's a big kitty. Yes. 
You haven't changed a bit. In order to stop the Eltharians from... In order to stop the Eltharians from conquering this planet, we need to make it to the bridge. There are a series of electrical force fields we'll need to deactivate. Oh, okay, so we gotta change our party out now. If we're not with you in active combat, we'll still get XP. Experiment to find the best group for a situation. Gun Claw and Force Field. Very high agility. Good vitality. Very good strength. Pretty low magic and will. Although better than Cthulhu and Sharp. So, very average. Meow and quick draw. Freeze, heal, snowstorm. Oh. So, actually... I don't know what all of these do. But, like, my offhand thought here is... Warp floors teleport back to the... Okay. So we're gonna ditch Umi for now. 25 battles. There's like a little paw symbol there. Do we have to have... Okay. Bovinators, starfish, and nesting dolls. Tentacles, hit plus one. The big thing we're losing by not having Umi, I just realized, is... Okay. Parker's Hall enemy Sandy switched, so it makes insane characters sane and vice versa. Uh, quick draw, one enemy, power, instant attack. Freeze targets one enemy as a combo finisher, targets one group as an ice attack. And just to see. Ooh. That's actually really interesting. Basically doubles uh pause power. The one thing I wasn't thinking about is the fact that she has, or that Umi has a resurrection that we don't have otherwise.
Man, we are not doing great so far on this one. I think we just die here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our um, previous save. So, I think in retrospect, having actually looked at it, I'm not gonna switch anybody out right now. I'm tempted to switch Sharp out, just because Sharp is uh, very bad at hitting groups. These do not appear to be a thing, just background. Cybercats. Okay, so these guys are apparently strong against poison. That's good to know. They only took half damage from it. Pause gets a level up. I do love regen. Honestly, healing for 63 to all is pretty solid. But so is... But this is... Yeah, we're going regen. That might make pause worth trying to bring in against a boss, unless Umi also gets that option. And let's deadly kiss on this bovinator. Other enemies are protected. All 
our characters are poisoned. Honestly, she's got lots of abilities that are physical, and it's making me feel more and more like we may want to lean into giving her some more strength, if we get the option. Because like the only thing she's doing with her magic is healing right now. Drain Strike, Slow Strike, Multi Strike. We just deactivated a laser barrier in the southeast corner of the first floor. We'll have to backtrack to go forward. How convoluted. <laughs> Love it. Um. Honestly? a loop. I'm not sure if this is actually where we were supposed to go or if this is somewhere we already had access to, but We'll give it a shot. Laser sword is probably a Cthulhu thing. 120 strength. Oh, and ignores defense. Yes, that is definitely a Cthulhu thing. Call Kraken. Take out one of the shielders. Poison the Bovinator. I think we drain strike.
Okay, so everything's down at the end of this turn. Okay, we're on the other side of that laser barrier. Tentacles, Plague, Multi-Strike, actually just attack, we should be good on this. Save some MP. Two UFOs and some starfish. Do some Kraken action. Starfish, I guess, and Fireball. Level up for Cthulhu. Okay. Um... We already have a better caster for play. So I think we definitely go Pierce here. One enemy, huge damage, ignores defenses without the laser sword, which means theoretically we can switch to a different weapon and still get the ignore defenses of, uh, ability. Umi, Starfish, or Flood Boost. Honestly, Powering up Flood feels really good. It's been not doing... Or it's been something that... You know, I would have liked to have more access to earlier. It feels like... In a lot of these regular fights... I end up using Kraken because I don't have another good option and being able to say blood for her feels good. You know, this is really surprising to me, but I'm kind of tempted. I am kind of tempted to... have... 
pause switch out for October. But I'm not sure if that's actually a good plan. just feel like October is very squishy. But she does have the best AoE by a pretty large margin, which is really nice for taking out groups. Oh jeez, okay. So this is a really big... I wish I knew... I think this is just on physical attacks, not on techniques. Which honestly is still really good. Wind boost would make wind strike hit for like 750 base, which is huge. I feel like we go hit up. I feel like we're missing a lot here still, so I do want to be a little careful. We're going to be in trouble here, but I'm just going to hope that we can force our way through it. So it looks like two more rounds at least, unless we can just push through. So I'm going to take the risk. There we go. Just take a turn to be aggressive instead.
gold. What is that? A monstrosity. Even the other monsters don't like him. Blood, tentacles, and... Oh, October dropped again. Uh, drain strike. Blood. Wind strike. October gets a level up. Magic and agility or HP and agility. She keeps getting dropped in one turn. I feel like we have to go HP there. I forgot about Pierce. Pierce Flood. Wind strike, fireball. That should take out that's both cyber cats and the invaders. Yep. That means that now we just focus on the two brain squids. Sirens call on this one. Focus down the other one. October is stunned twice. we just made a big circle. So we're in a flood and fireball to take out the two shielders. Here's the monstrosity. Simon's called the other one. Multi strike. Deadly kiss. came from this is where I came from so this is just an alternate way to get where I was
Um, Okay, so all we need to do is survive. The only hit point that matters is your last one. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so this is going to turn off the blue barriers. Yes. Ooh, that's annoying. Oh, wow. That is better in literally every regard except agility, of course. So Cthulhu's actually taken a pretty big drop to agility. Wait, where? Full heal on her cell. I'm actually gonna go Tempest here just to take out the two gooeys. And then we're gonna go Deadly Kiss on Bovinator. I kinda figured that she may not make it, but that's okay. Pause gets a level up, so we should be starting to get our level 20s. Why would I want even more agility on the fastest character? I mean, I guess I could see that being valuable, but generally speaking, no.
So this should be where we got... Where's the save point? There was a save point down here, wasn't there? Is it all the way down? There we go. And uh, I'm guessing that that stairway in the bottom left is where we need to go next. Oh boy. Well, you know what? This video has been going for a while. And I don't know how much of this is left. I'm guessing we're probably at a boss. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap here. We'll pick back up right where we left off next time. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to grind out the last seven battles between videos, too. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.